I would say the thing we're most proud of is that's all 100% accurate, scientifically. <laughs> we researched it very, very carefully. Would you guys, you guys got some questions? Want to ask some questions? You want to do that? Yeah. All right. Sounds a bit tepid. They don't Shout them all out together. together. Shout them all out together. <laughs> how's, oh. it go how's it going, guys? Awesome. Um, Matt, I want to say congratulations. Uh, last year at Comic Con, you gave me a signed uh, Duff beer can, and just getting to meet you was like one of the greatest moments of my life. So, thank you for all that you guys do. Um, my question was with all of the dance and song numbers that there's been, uh, has there ever been any? <laughs> it's so weird, this is echo. Has there ever been anything in the works for a Broadway play? Excellent. I think that's the one thing we haven't thought of yet. But that's a good idea. Um, we like the Book of Mormon. <laughs> yes, thank you, Book of Mormon. <laughs> you know, it really is. It, that's, it, any kind of question like that it involves us getting together creatively and looking at each other and saying, how much money is in this? So that's really a discussion that has to, to be decided. It's just how much we can actually squeeze out of the franchise. I did have an idea uh, to have uh, Dan Castellaneta, the voice of Homer, read Homer's Iliad and Homer's Odyssey as audio. Oh, yeah. And it's only 27 hours out of Dan's life. Come on, what's he waiting for? <laughs> Good question. Next question. You should so do that. <laughs> um, first off, I just want to say that uh, from when I was a kid until now, it's been awesome to watch The Simpsons and to grow up with them. So thank you so much for that. Uh, my question is, um, would you ever make a permanent or semi-permanent change that lasts longer than an episode, such as moving the kids up a grade, putting Maggie into preschool, or possible move to, move to Central City? Well, Bart is 10 years old this year, and he has been for the last uh, 23 seasons. Uh, <laughs> next year, he's going to have a birthday, and he is going to turn 10 years old. <laughs> And I am still 28 like I was when the show started. <laughs> None of us do anything. Oh, uh, yeah, we, made, we made Lisa a vegetarian. Yeah, I was going to say. Stuck with that. That was a huge change, right, Gardley? Yeah, but that's a great story. I mean, the story, as I heard the story, as the story goes. Um, so we had Paul McCartney and Linda McCartney on the episode at that time. And Lisa became a vegetarian because of them. And they said, as I understand, hearsay indeed, um, that the only way that they would do the show is if we kept Lisa a vegetarian. So they have stayed true to their word. And actually we have a show upcoming where Lisa is convinced by Lunch Lady Dora to eat bugs. And Lisa says to her, well I promised Paul McCartney I'd stay a vegetarian. Lunch Lady Dora says, well I promised Paul McCartney I wouldn't sleep with John. <laughs> We can still cut that joke. That's a we can true still joke. Cut it. it hasn't come out. I was going to say, did you read that little sign on the back of the card that says, please be aware that many members of your audience may be under 18 years of age? It <laughs> <laughs> still works. No, it's true. Paul McCartney did, did ask us to do that. And, you know, Paul, he puts out this very sweet thing, but his goons are very big and very scary, and there's a lot of behind-the-scenes threats whenever you deal with that guy. Now, Mr. Merkin, you're, you're a meat eater, right? You, you, were, you were executive producer of that episode, right? And you, and you love meat, right? Is that true? Is that... And I love meeting him? Meat. Meat. You oh. love eating meat, right? Oh, no. I, I, I was meat converting... made Paul McCartney. <laughs> What I'm, what I'm saying is he used Paul McCartney to, pr to promote his vegetarian agenda. But David Merkin is a vegetarian too. You're all vegetarians right because of the episode, right? Come on, let's hear it, vegetarians. Hey! Yeah! Now let's hear it for me. <laughs> vegetarians, attack the meat eaters. Show them that we have energy. <laughs> <laughs> Another question, please. Is it true that 
Um, I hear this echo. <laughs> yeah, okay, this the question is from Matt. Again, the echo. <laughs> is it true that on the side of Homer's face, your initials are there? Well, let's find out. Is there a drawing easel that can be brought on? Let's get some oh, drawing yeah. easels out here. Come on. Good question. No? No. <laughs> we'll get back to your question. I'll answer. Here they are. Okay, oh. it's great. Great, great. Out here and something with, for me to draw with. But just, just, just point. Here's the number three. <laughs> This has all been very carefully worked out. We rehearsed for hours. Thank God that girl asked the question. <laughs> <laughs> very good question. The question was, you know, my initials in Homer's here. While Matt's drawing, I just want to do a shout out. Last night I attended the Simpsons Collectors Panel, which was staffed by uh, the Simpsons Collectors website, which turned out to be one very funny guy. But it was really great, and I recommend if you are a Simpson collector, you go on their website. It was really cool. Okay, this is the original way I drew Homer. Okay, this is the original way I drew Homer. Oh my god! Oh! Oh my god! That's awesome. Now, should we take that paper and burn it or give it to the girl? Our question, one she actually made money on. <laughs> Think before you ask something. Okay, yeah, the next question, how many hair points on Bart? <laughs> that is funny. All right, we have another? Okay. I'm, I'm waiting for Matt. Nah, nah, you know, Matt, there's a lot of questions. There's a lot of questions for Matt, isn't there? Matt, when did you start on the show? <laughs> I started in season three. Yeah. <laughs> Really left his mark. He's really left his mark. Uh, what's your question? Okay, I want to know. I want to know if you, Matt Graney, can do any of the Simpsons' voices well. <laughs> hey, thanks for the hostility. <laughs> yes, I can. Very good. Wait, who's that? I don't know. Uh, no, I, I can do Maggie's pacifier, and I originally did Maggie's pacifier on uh, the Tracy Ullman show. That was me. Nice. I all, oh, wait, wait. I also did uh, Barney's Belch and Homer's Belch as well. No, I can't. I need a, I need a, a duff. For That's what he claims every time he burps. He goes, yeah, I'm just doing a character. But now Dan can do it on command, so. I think actually Dan, but yeah, Dan can do it, and Nancy is a really good burper too. And Nancy will burp and whistle for me, because I'm not good at either. So. She's stunt burper whistler, among many other things. I can do Dr. Nick. Hi, everybody! <laughs> <laughs> Sometimes when we're doing commentaries, you're sitting right next to Dan Castellaneta and you do a, do a homer and he just kind of looks at you like, oh, <laughs> Yardley can do an incredible Lisa. Do that. Do that. This is me. And this is Lisa. Another question. Oh, oh. Uh, in consideration that you recently came out about uh, Maggie uh, mini movie, has there been any thought of maybe making a, a McBain movie or short? Oh, that's a good idea. It is. Uh, we have discussed doing other shorts. Actually, the most common uh, uh, guess would be Itchy and Scratchy. So let's let's uh, decide it the reasonable way by a vote at Comic Con. Itchy and Scratchy or McBain. Scratchy it is! <laughs> we love to 
to annoy the audience. <laughs> Do we to the, scratchy ass McVeigh? To the person in the Bart Simpson crown. <laughs> oh, um, I was just wondering which Springfield does the Simpsons take place in? Oh, come on. Oh, boy. <laughs> I've answered that question a few times, and I um, I always give a different answer, you know. So uh, it depends on what sticks. I, you know, you know what? Uh, the the original inspiration for Springfield was the state that Father Knows Best uh, took place in. Father Knows Best uh, was a uh, TV show that your grandparents grew up on, <laughs> and it took place in Springfield, and. Whatever state that is, is where the Simpsons live as well. So I asked Robert Young. But Matt, I heard a story that the reason we lived in Springfield was because it was the most common name for a town in the United States. Uh, Springfield and Lincoln are the most common names, yes. Is that so? Yes. Lincoln was from Springfield. Ooh. Oh, please <laughs> get good. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so we'll, we'll probably do one more question and then maybe a little surprise at that point. Does that sound? Uh... Ooh, a surprise. Yeah. All right, here's, here's the, here's the uh, pre-surprise question. Not to take anything away from your question. I'm not trying to take the focus off what you're going to say by saying there's an amazing surprise about to happen. The question is, what's the surprise? <laughs> I was wondering, Matt, if you uh, enjoyed the Adventure Time uh, display at the Art Museum across the street, and if you're a fan of the show, and what other shows you're a fan of that are currently on air. Adventure Time. Yes, I am a huge fan of Adventure Time. In fact, in fact, Pendleton Ward, the creator of Adventure Time, when he was a, uh, a young sprite, his mother brought him to my house in Los Angeles and said, my son wants to grow up and uh, run his own, and start his own animated show. Do you have any advice for him? And uh, I, uh, I, whatever advice I gave to him apparently worked. Because Adventure Time is a great show. And if you have a chance, go to the Adventure Time Experience. Yes, I was there yesterday uh, at the Children's, uh, uh, Children's Museum uh, right across the street. It's fantastic. Yes, I love Adventure Time. I love regular show and I love uh, everything Fox does, of course. <laughs> And everything Comedy Central does. I oh, there's a bunch of Futurama. Highly, highly Very good. Very good. This is on. Great question. That was an excellent question. That was. Uh, do you like Adventure? Do you like Adventure Time? <laughs> <laughs> oh, oh, I think we're okay. And what, what about the so-called surprise? Oh yeah. Okay. Here we go. Here we go. Do I have this? Okay. <laughs> I am going to go... Okay, I don't even know what this surprise is. Yeah, it's a pretty cool surprise. Um, I, I'm going to go walk and disappear in the parking lot, but you're still going to be able to hear me, and I'm just going to walk for the next 15 minutes. Is that a good surprise? No, that's not. We want to bring you a special guest. You know, we have a lot of great guest stars on this show, and we love you guys so much. We appreciate you guys so much every year coming to Comic-Con to see us, and we thought... Who was one of the best guest stars we ever had that we really loved that would also go great and make a Comic-Con crowd happy? So I want to ask you, do you guys like Star Wars? Yeah, do, you like, do you like the first three Star Wars? I mean, the second one. The good ones, right? right? Do you like the stars of Star Wars? Do you like Princess Leia? We had such an amazing time. I mean, I'm trying to remember. Hey, David, David, I've been uh, checking my notes. Well, we've done 500 episodes. We're trying to remember which one it was. She wasn't on the show. What? what? Which episode do you guys know, right? It was. She wasn't on. No, 
she, if she wasn't on the show, David. So I'm afraid we'll have to find another panel at Comic Con that might take her. <laughs> well, I mean, you know, we've done 500. Does anybody remember? No, maybe. No. I'm sorry, darling. I, I thought you would. <laughs> oh, you mean I'm? So, that's so weird because I'm like your best friend, right? So I. <laughs> Uh, uh, who works on that? Who works on Carrie Fisher, ladies and gentlemen. Thank you. I should have checked our notes, you know, and there's books that show what Simpsons episodes and everything, but Please. sorry about that, everyone. Sorry. Please get off the stage, princess. <laughs> <laughs> Well, I think the only way to make this up to you, even though it was great to see her, wasn't it? She is, she is awesome. <laughs> Should we take a look at, uh, at the big short now, or the short short? That's it. This is going to be the end of the show, so enjoy it. We are really proud of it, and thank you for everything that you guys have brought us.